Well, after a marathon session of closing arguments, former President Donald Trump's so-called hush money trial in New York is expected to go to jury in just a matter of hours. CBS News correspondent Naomi Ruckham takes a closer look at how the prosecution and Trump's defense team wrapped up their cases. Today, Judge Juan Mershon gives instructions to the jury, and then they'll begin deliberations in former President Donald Trump's Manhattan criminal trial. We'll see how it goes. Trump is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to reimburse ex-fixer and key prosecution witness Michael Cohen, who paid adult film star Stormy Daniels $130,000 to keep quiet about an alleged sexual encounter in the lead-up to the 2016 election, all of which Trump denies. In his three-hour closing arguments, defense lawyer Todd Blanche attacked Cohen's credibility, calling him the gloat, greatest liar of all time. The jurors, by closing arguments, really have a pretty good idea of how they feel about the case. They are looking strictly at what's the evidence, what do I need in order to do my job. Prosecutor Joshua Steinglass argued that the case is about Trump, not Cohen. In his five-hour closing, Steinglass pointed to the evidence his side presented, including other witnesses and documents. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News, New York. Former President Trump could face jail time and fines if he is found guilty, though yesterday the judge noted that a prison sentence is not required for a possible conviction.